Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So first thing as always, let's have a look at the star map to see what's going on here. Um, we've moved a fair bit here. We're down, we're heading towards this flashpoint uh, down here. This is the one that's the uh, five skull. Um, someone's causing problems and blaming it on us. So um, we're going to be taking on this one eventually. This will probably be the last one that we do for this series, but that's where we're headed. Um, we want to get a few more days. Well, not that few more. I got how many more days now before this uh, flashpoint is done? Like 70 or something? 65 more days. So it's we got plenty of time to get there. It's only a 21 day jump, so we can take on a bunch of missions before we get there. But we jump to Helen here, Comstar Control World, and there's a few missions we can take on this planet. A couple of five scholars. But before we get into that, let's have a look at the uh, mech bays here. So I did add a few of the things in that we picked up. Uh, we made our Orion the double rack Orion. So what I ended up doing was putting the clan rack fives in this guy I wish we had arm mounts, but we don't so unfortunately we couldn't do that uh, It's got an ER small laser in here now as well We saved a couple of tons not much But I was able to convert one of the uh, regular rack ammo to a double to give us a bit more rounds and put in an ER small which gave us a bit of a bit of uh, um, Or sorry, I think I took one of the ER smalls out in order to get the double rack in and something else I can't remember what I did, but I altered it slightly. Um, yeah, so that's all we did really with that guy. Um, what else did I change here? Oh yeah, the King Crab. Uh, I put the weapon mount that we picked up in the other arm. So uh, yeah, and I had to take out one of the ER pulses and I put it in a medium improved heavy laser. It's one ton less because the weapon mount was a ton. So, I mean, our heat sinking is not that great, but this guy is a short range weapon, so we won't be using it all that often. Um, but now we've got more accuracy with the autocannons in each arm, so that's great. Um, so that's that actually. Before we go any further, now we want to use this mech today. I got the FARC, I forgot I had the FARC control system flak that I forgot to put in. Yeah, it would have been better to have this in. But we don't, we can't waste the day, I don't think. Because we're going hit, to be hitting our financial report, so. Leave that for now. That's an easy fix when we move to another, move, jump to another planet. Now, what else did I fix? The Mad Dog, I think I changed slightly. I pulled off. We had a couple of ER smalls in the arm in this guy. Uh, I pulled those out. I think I put the Guardian ECM in. Because this thing didn't have an ECM system in it, but now it does. So, I took out a couple of half-ton weapons and put in the ECM. Uh, which is sorely needed, I think. So, that was this one. Uh, the Atlas, I was... Remember the last episode, I was up in the air whether I was going to keep this guy or not. And I'm thinking, well, it's a 100 ton Mac. We might as well keep it. Didn't really have the hard points. I think I spent a good hour before this episode trying to figure out how to load this thing out. And I went back and forth. We had the, the uh, heavy Gauss rifle with two tons of ammo, which is eight turns of firing. I tried to go with a more of a, a typical loadout with a couple lasers in each arm. Um with a LRM-20 in the shoulder, and the other shoulder had the heavy Gauss rifle. Then I changed it to an Ultra-20. Uh, I just, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to be where I wanted it to be. So what I ended up settling on was a three ER PPC loadout, two in one arm and one in the other, with PPC capacitor, uh, and an LRM-20. So it's not very exciting. But even with the heavy Gauss rifle in there, it needed to close and I just couldn't get a big enough engine in it to get it to a half decent area where it could actually be firing on targets. So I'm sure the loadout will change, uh, but right now it's really just a tanky mech. Not very fast, unfortunately, but we've got another 100 tonner in battle. It can take a lot of punishment. Got the uh, combat shield in the arm, um, so we can reduce a little bit of damage. But the other problem too is, is I didn't. I wanted to have a prototype double heatsink kit in this guy, but I just don't have it. I have prototype double heatsinks, but no kit. So keeping the heat under control in this thing was just a nightmare. Like the fact that it's got you know six laser hard points, two in the center and two in each of the arms. There wasn't anything I could put in that was cool enough that would give it the max firepower. Now I tried to put the heavy Gauss rifle in an LRM20, but even then, the heavy Gauss rifle is 20 tons plus two tons of ammo is 22 tons, and it's doing 130 damage when it hits at 530 meter range. You can put a Clan Ultra 20 in, which is almost the same range, that can hit for 200 damage for 
I think the Clan Ultra 20 is 14 tons and, and like 4 tons of ammo, so it's lighter. You need to be closer, but I mean... I don't know, I just couldn't justify the heavy gauss. Now, I'm sure I'll end up putting it in be before the end of the series. Most likely it'll be in for the last battle. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of where that is. Um, I'm feeling a little more comfortable with the number of mechs we have in the mech bay here, too. When we get to that last mission, since it is a five skull, it's a very long mission. Uh, with consecutive engagements, it's going to be a very, very difficult mission. So we definitely need to have as many mechs as possible, I think. We do have, like, three lances plus one right now. So, but, you know, the Mad Dog and the Exterminator, the Catapult being 65 tonners and 60 tonner, you know, I don't know how, like, if I mix and match the lances so that we use those, then I think we'll be okay. But, you know, I feel pretty good about a few of these builds. The King Crab build I feel pretty good about with the uh, Ultra 10s um, and 5s. The, the double rack build on the uh, Orion, I feel pretty confident with. Although we do need weapon mounts for this thing. Without them, those racks are just going to end up being a major problem. Actually, did I put a fire control system in this guy? Yeah, I might actually put the flak fire control system in this to reduce the recoil on these autocannons. Um, so that's a possibility, but weapon mounts would really, really help this thing out. Um... I kind of might have to go through all of my mechs and just re rejiggy things around a little bit. Because um, right now, this, this Mjolnir, it's got three ER PPCs, and it's running better than... Um, it's actually going to be running a lot, because it's got prototype double heat sinks. It's running a lot better than this Atlas is. 70 tons. But, you know, for 30 tons more, I expect to have more than just an LRM-20 added, and it just isn't possible. So, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Um... A lot of things to consider before we go into the last few battles, but uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, but today let's take these missions here. So let's go to contracts. We've got an assassinate mission at five skulls, which we're going to give to the main lance, escaping spy. And then we've got a broken chain, a base destruction mission against Comstar, which we'll give to our secondary lance, um, destroying bases. Well, I don't know. This is most likely 10 mechs, and this is going to be turrets with who knows what's in them, and may probably one lance, maybe two. Either way, it's going to be good competition. So let's put our, let's give the escape let's give the main lance the escaping spy. That's probably a little trickier. So let's go full salvage. All right, we'll flush out the second lance because I think I want to change up the mechs. Uh, Avalanche is out right now. Um, I ended up getting in a, a uh, uh, an encounter where it's like she wants to go down for diving or whatever else. So since we had the, the zero G pool, we let her go. But uh, she ends up getting high spirit, she ends up getting athletic, and she ends up giving us plus two um, morale. But she ended up being out for eight days. So, you know, no big deal. All right, D and C, let's get our main lance in here. All right, Griff, let's do this, Mockingbird. And uh, six pack and a rhino, let's go. All right. Ah, it's been a while since we played on this map. We know what to do. Move up the left side, take the hill, destroy the lance on this side, wait for the reinforcements to arrive, if there is any, and then kill the boss. So, let's do this. Uh, and uh, because we're fighting against um, heavier guys, we're going to walk it. Try and stay as stealthy as possible here. Get some stealth going. So I'm interested to see what that Orion's going to look like now. Just got to get some more components for it. I think for that last, that, the last battle though, we definitely need to analyze our mech loadouts and move stuff around. Commander? Like it's like that Orion's definitely going to need the the flak. Okay, what do we got here? Atlas. Wow, really? Half armored. Fafnir. Okay, that guy's got to go. We could probably pull this guy out of the battle. I mean, he's going to take forever to get to us, though. Much better chances to hit. 23 damage though.
Let's just fire on the Atlas. Wow, lost sound there for a second. Come on. Did it crash? Alright guys, I have no idea why the hell that crashed. But it went right to the desktop, so... Yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be a different setup of enemies, but... <laughs> that is the first time that's ever happened to me. Alright. Like, I don't even understand why it would crash, just like targeting an opponent and clicking on them. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Maybe we'll get some more uh, difficult opponents in this one. Alright, same play as before. Alright, bird. Alright, what do we got here? Barbarian. Mauler. Okay. Target the Barbarian. And let's hope we can fire this time. This should be good. Very little damage. That's okay. We can actually fire on the Mauler from back here. Let's not get up there where he can see us though. Because we want to take on this Barbarian, I think. And... Um, we're doing very little damage here, so we're just going to fire. Just plink them a bit. Strip some of that armor off. So I was considering when we were loading in uh, what we're, who we're going to take for the next mission. I think what we'll do is we'll probably bring in the Orion and the um, Mjolnir, uh, Catapult, and Location. the King Crab. I think most likely that's, that's what we'll bring in. Ah, it's just firing them. Ah. One hit. Now, I think we got Muller parts. Pretty sure we do. Not very many, but I think we got a few. What I really, really need is a uh, prototype double heatsink kit. Ah, it's not an Atlas. Uh, well, I don't know why I'm disappointed it's not an Atlas, but, you know, it's not an Atlas. Uh, we do need a prototype double heatsink kit, so that's definitely what we need. Let's um, see if we can do some significant damage to this guy here. Ooh, getting rid lag. A couple of torso hits. We should be able to pull that torso off. Alright, Birdie, it's all yours. Let's just shoot it with everything. Ugh. Terrible. Oh, a Cyclops. Ready for orders. Let's drop down here. I, copy. I was going to stay up high, but, you know, we can get targeted by the enemy relatively easily up there. So let's just pull this Barbarian out of the way first, then we'll move back up the hill. Okay, there goes the Torso. I think you did too. Order. Yeah, Rhino can stay up here. On my way. Let's see if we can burst through this guy's side here. Uh, I want a warlord. No, but I think I want to leave these off. Oh, both of them hit. Nice. Those are CTs, right? Yeah. He's gonna die next turn. At least he's still moving forward. He's got some cajonis. He's getting the trees. Um, should I finish this guy up? Or should I leave it to somebody else? It's our chance to hit here. 79. Yeah, we know yours. 656, 74. Man, really? It's OP, this guy. Um, God, the ER small can still hit him at that range. And let's just go for the head. If we get lucky, we get lucky. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing.
Oh shit. Didn't realize he had range to attack. I'm not... I'm not keeping track of my, uh... turns here. That's my fault. Commander? Sorry, man. That kind of sh shouldn't happen. Commander? What do you think? Heading out. Let's give this guy some punishment. Panicking. Okay, we'll be able to finish him up. Oof. Losing lots of armor. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah. I don't know what that was. Reading you. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't want you to fire at that guy. Um, Standing by. Oh, really? Really? There we go. That's better. Uh, we can't vigilance, unfortunately. Let's CT this guy firing. Just had to make sure. Target neutralized. Yes, Commander. Need you to engage that Mauler, please. Ah, uh, we can't get in the trees unless you sprint, huh? That's all right. That's all right. Um, what do we got for chances to hit? Ah, we'll just just shoot him. Hmm. Oh, he's got a lot of AC twos. It's actually not a bad loadout. I'm gonna warlord this. Hopefully, we get a better chances to hit here. Significant damage. Significant damage. Gonna back up here. Moonwalk it back. Um, let's pull this guy out of the game here. There he goes. Enemy mech destroyed. I was hoping that they don't have eyes on. I have no idea what that was. I thought it said Cyclops, but I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Because I usually am. Just ask my wife. Um, and that's not a joke, actually. <laughs> I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Um, let's get into here. Uh, yep, get these back on. And what's our chance to hit? Pretty darn good, so let's rack it up here. Got lots of catapult parts, so let's just hammer this guy. Give him something to think about. Something I'm here. What's up, boss? Make him reassess his life choices. Okay, it's time to open up the rack, buddy. Open it up. Want to stand in the open, buddy? That's what you get. Critical hit. It's going down. Okay. He's all yours. Order acknowledged. Finish him up, please. Affirmative. Thank you. Target down. Hmm. There we go. But I gotta be in the open for it, which kinda sucks, but whatever. Whatever. Go with everything. Go for the headshot. Yeah, no head hits. Yes, Commander. 
Um, I want to get eyes on this guy over here. Gladiator. Okay, not so bad. I'm here. Let's kill this Cyclops first. Ah, uh, he's been mostly CT'd. All we need is one head hit and he's done. Copy that. He's taking all CTs. Yes, Commander. Stay in the trees. Yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, crap, he's done. Let's just fire. He's done. Thanks for showing up, buddy. I don't like what that gladiator is, though. He had a C3 master, too. Well, let's let this gladiator come down. I don't know what he's going to do, but we'll move over here. You know, the uh, track that was playing in the background just a second ago um, gave me flashes of a game called um, uh, Homeworld. I don't know if anyone's ever played that game. They came up with a remastered version a little while ago, but the original the original game had just such a beautiful soundtrack to it. it. It really made you feel like you were part of a desperate struggle. I don't want to engage this guy just yet. Orders. Affirmative. Receiving you. Okay, we'll be able to engage him next turn. Hopefully pull his legs off and we're done. Well, at least we can get one leg for sure. Yes, Commander. Oh, maybe not. Let's get in close. Just walk it in. You got your warlord up, so let's use it. Offensive push. Oh my god. That's a really low chance to hit. And he's got a crap ton of armor. Um, let's just shoot him. Primary target damage, Commander. Well, he doesn't have any damage reduction. That's good. Okay, where do we hit him? Arm, really. Well, someone's going to be taking a melee hit. Unless we can strip one spot. We get a clear line of sight, we can from back here. Not optimal range. 56 with the racks. 60 with the racks, it's a little better. Gosh, it's a bad chance to hit. Lower it up, please. Give us much much damage, much like biggest chance to hit as we possibly can. Ooh. Is that all torso hits? Pretty darn close. Okay, Griff, it's all up to you, buddy. How much do you got left here? 111. We'd need two hits with this. Let's just do it. Ah, crap, nothing. Come on, run away. Oh! You jumped! Over the red line. Heat damage. He jumped! Yes, Commander. Roger. 
Still gonna use the Ultra 20. Huh. Okay, he goes first. Let's just reserve six pack. Affirmative. Location confirmed. Ooh. There we go. We got lucky. We got lucky. That's all I can say. Successful. Yeah, he could have done some serious damage if he decided to melee that turn. I made the mistake of not firing the turn before. Should have. And then backed up. That's what I should have done. But I haven't played in a couple of days, so I'm kind of rusty. <laughs> um, Alright, lots of gladiator parts. No, we don't have any maulers. Uh, let's just go down. I want to see... We don't need the Rack 5. We do need Case, though. I, I, I'm really tempted to take this because we're short Case right now. Large Combat Shield. I'm going to put that in. Because um, we're definitely going to have need of those. Patchwork Materials, you don't have any of, of any of them. Virtual Reality Pod, no. Okay, so what is the stuff we're going to use? Probably the Patchwork... Uh, and we're very, very short of this cockpits. The comm suite's not the best, but at least it's a cockpit. It's going to give us resolve and initiative. The rest of this stuff, we'll, let, we'll just roll the dice, see what happens. All right. All right, barbarian part, catapult part, gladiator part, and a bunch of other stuff. That we could probably sell. We've already got one virtual reality. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. Um, ooh, 93. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, it shouldn't have been anything, but... So we got to wait one day. We do need Avalanche back, and we do need the Orion back. So let's get... Oh, it is back. Uh, What? Move the atlas up anyway. Did I wait? Oh, I did wait one day. That's right. We still need Avalanche back, though. I want to go without her. Just thinking every day counts right now. Oh, all right. Gris skills are reduced. So we've got Gaucho, Hannibal, Judge... And I guess we could go with Eagle, but still, she's not. Yeah, Commander. It's a five sculler. I think we wait for Avalanche to be back. We're going to wait the day. Going to wait one day. I know it's going to put us into a financial report, but financial cannot report. be helped. Cannot be helped. So. The fact that this is against Comstars kind of got me worried. I'm wondering if we should wait for the main lance to be back and go after them. It'll only be five days. Everyone will be back. Probably. Okay. My biggest fear, because it is against Comstar um, in a five skull mission, my biggest fear is that we send those guys down and they just get crushed. Um, yeah, let's go this. 521 salvage. Main lance. I think we'll be okay this way. I mean, I'm, I'm contemplating bringing a missile mech, but I don't think we'll really need to do that. Ah, you know, I keep saying that. I really should get some missiles somewhere in this one. Like, maybe outload. Maybe we take the AC-20. I don't know. Maybe the Rack 5 Timberwolf and switch it to some LRMs. I don't know. We could change the Ultra 10 or the Ultra 20 to an Ultra 10. Pull out the medium improved heavies and go with some missiles. But I don't know. Let's just deploy and get it done. Command interface initiated. 
Well, it said as soon as the assault begins, the enemy will scramble reinforcements. So I don't know if that means the base is undefended. Probably not. Probably a good idea we bought the main lance. All right, let's not be too hasty. Let's not be too hasty, Mr. Attack and Destroy. Yes, Commander. Moving out. All right. Standing by. Can you give me some eyes? Rolling. Thumper, we gotta kill that. Fafnir's gotta die. Another thumper. Fuck! Um. Can't target. Yeah, I just fire that. Multiple targets. Okay, what do we got over here? Awesome. Had a moto C. Standing by. Is that in the trees? That is in the trees. So let's go there. Um, what can we hit with this guy? You are large. Okay, so we're going to do a multi U. And a U, B has got a bunch, so we need to rock, roll up this rack here. And fire it all. I copy. Wow. Okay. Nice. Turret destroyed. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, see, I'm not liking the fact that she's, like, not firing every single turn. The Ultra 20 is nice, but Kerberos, it's an OMGP. We know we got to kill that guy. Uh, yeah, fire it all. Let's make sure we get it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Everybody on the Fafnir, please. Fafnir, everybody on the Fafnir. Mm. Okay, one hit, nice. Commander? Can everybody see the Fafnir? That's the question. Shit. What kind of turret is this? Freaking thumper artillery. Alright, we gotta go after that too. <sighs> Make some high G maneuvers here. Hammer it, please. Oh! What's up, boss? Cramp! Got a multi target for you, buddy. Think you can handle it? Yeah, man. Oh, for Christ's sake. Dude, kill me here. Hopefully that's adding a lot of instability. Christ, I don't want the awesome to shoot at me. He's going to do it anyway. I know he will. Uh, oh, you moved up the hill. That's why you could see him. Um, I think we're probably far enough away. He says just before he gets killed. Um, Got to make sure we hit that turret. All right, let's go. Nice. Okay, got a tag on him. Still can't see us. Just stay quiet. Shh. Jesus. 
Just shoot them. Okay, good start. Waiting for orders. Gotta move at least a little bit here. Oh, no, don't do that. Just shoot them. Forgot our rack was jammed there. Do not want to waste the warlord without a rack. Commander. Heading out. BTFU, baby, BTFU. It's our chance to hit this guy. Sweetness. Get that leg? We got the leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. There it is, folks. One legless Fafnir. Please stand up, though, because uh, I don't think I can target you if you're on the ground. Just want to move ever so slightly. I don't want to move a lot. Um... I don't, I think, I th does the awesome run an XL engine? I can't remember. I don't think it does. Oh, it does. Well, I'll see you later. Inner sphere XL engines. Do not use them. I repeat, do not use them. I like being safe. It's just the way I am. And I, I just, clan XL is fine because you can lose one side and still be okay, but you can't do that in an inner sphere mech. Keep hitting that leg, baby. Hitting the leg. Sweep the leg! Um, hope you're hidden enough. 28%. Still gonna take it. I uh, hit him somewhere. I don't think you need to move, Griff. Just hang out there. See if you can pull the leg off. Significant damage, but not quite enough. Enemy Down to 70. Waiting for orders. Uh, I'm going to get you to creep up over here on to this Kerberos here, I think. See if we can get that leg. I think that was the leg, I hope. Removed. Got it. Okay. Commander. Copy that. Playing it by the numbers. After that last mission, I don't want to have a repeat of that. Standing by. We could have taken some major damage from that gladiator. Okay, I don't think you have the ability to get anybody over there, so we need to move up this way. He's really in a bad spot. Waiting for, orders. for himself, not for us. Get some speed going here. Oh, nice. Arrow turret. Hopefully he can't see us. 450, huh? Well, we can't kill him, but we will next turn. Commander? Still can't see those buildings. Order. That is kind of stinky about this now. Just confirm the Warlord and finish this thing up. Okay. Once we pull these buildings down, we are definitely going to be... Uh, still can't shoot them, eh? I'm going to stick around for reinforcements if there is any. I don't know. Do I want to have you go against this guy? 
out by yourself. Let's get over here. Got it. Waiting for orders. Huh. Nah, if you move in the open, he's going to spot you. Okay, you should be able to see the buildings now. And apparently you can't. Because I don't know why. Not within visual range. You really gotta change that. The visual range for the building should be extended. Ready for orders. Huh. See, lack of missile systems, man. Oh, I don't want to risk this. Not without having enough support from everybody else. Kerberos. Look at this thing, man. Crazy ass. Alright, uh, we got really great chances to hit. Warlord, confirm. Offensive push, confirm. Headshot! Alright, Warlord confirmed. Offensive push confirmed. Headshot confirmed. God damn it. I should have known we wouldn't hit the head. Oh wait, there was somewhere here. God, do I want to do that though? Probably. We're not going to offensive push him, we're just going to shoot him. I want to make him unstable. Do we make him unstable? Not quite. Not quite. I was one more turn to Warlord and could have got it. Not gonna try for the head. Probably should have though. Ooh, we got so lucky. He's completely unstable. I still try for the headshot though. I'm only doing 42 damage. Let's go for a torso. Okay, don't have to worry about the BFG now. Alright, Grips is going to move forward in front of him. Confirm the Warlord offensive push. Go up to this leg. Wow, that was terrible. Why is he just standing there? Like he's just waiting to die now. I see that. Moving out. I'm not sure why they're just standing here, but whatever. Gotta end this fight anyway. Target neutralized. Commander. 
On my way. Uh, which one's got what? That's got a hundred, so it doesn't really matter. It's multi-target. Wait. That's the building. C's got 150. A's got 100. Alright, well. Miscalculated. I don't know, I would, not like I would have got it anyway, but whatever. Whatever. Let's leave the gosses off. Leave this off. No. We got people here still. I just want to stand. They're probably all outside their mechs having a smoke. It's all like, what? Is there a fight going on? What's going on? There's not supposed to be any clans around here. What are we talking about? That's just Jimmy again pulling our leg. Huh. Clan Jade Falcon, they were wiped out. They were wiped out a few months ago. Commander? Surprise, motherfuckers. Full speed. No target. What's up, boss? We ain't gone. And you sure as hell better not forget about us. Orders? It's gonna come and come back to bite you in the ass. Come back to bite you in the asteroid. I just don't think these guys can see us. Oh, he's in a valley over there. Don't know why they're why all of a sudden my sensors or my uh, stealth is so good on this map. I copy. Standing by. Maybe there's a malfunction or something. Good thing we got rid of their their artillery systems, or we'd be in big trouble here. Um, let's go for the side shot. Copy that. Jeez, it took us forever to get here that we got our warlord back again. Waiting for orders. Gotcha. Can you pull this guy's leg off for me? Seventeen left, eh? She's so reliable with hitting targets like that, I'm just afraid to leave all the weapons on. Have a seat, buddy. Alright, cheeks back. Should be able to strip this other leg. Or not. There you go, Griffin. What's he got? Oh my god, you hit all the tourists. Look at this. Fingers crossed. We get it. Cut the torso. Engine crit. I oh, just shallow his former self. Thanks for showing up. Order. Forget it, girl. Just smoke this guy, please. Don't want to take any damage. Suck it. Um, Receiving you. They must be bringing in reinforcements. They have to be. Commander? Ordinance received. They did say they were going to be scrambling reinforcements. Uh, 
Round 19, though. Standing by. Going full throttle. Commander. I don't know. Do you think after 19 rounds, the reinforcements would have already arrived? Unless it's based on base destruction? I'm just going to start moving towards the out. Just to see if we do get reinforcements. Okay, I'll give it one more turn after this one. Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. Okay, one more turn. No, we got nothing. Racing for impact. Ready for orders. Ah, let's get out of here. That kind of sucks. Mission successful. Well, that was certainly underwhelming. Well played, though. They just couldn't see us, unfortunately for them. Fortunately for us, unfortunately for them, and we just got an awesome. There it is, folks. Ah, uh, God, we could, do, could take Kerberos parts again. We could get a Kerberos again. Have four 100 ton mechs. Um, you know what? As much as I'd love to have the awesome. Four 100 ton mechs would be even nicer. Yeah, we got one, two awesome pieces. We got an awesome as well. <laughs> we just picked up an awesome and a Fafnir. Or, uh, sorry, an awesome and a Kerberos. Got some more Fafnir parts. God, we picked up a lot of mech parts on this. BFG 9000. Improved heavy Gauss rifle. So now we've got two of these things. We didn't get any ammo for it, though, unfortunately. Um, which means, I mean, we're only going to be able to use one of them. We've only got eight rounds of, of firing. So, anyway. Um, there we go. Derelict Omega, retrofitted and made functional by a very lucky pirate. <laughs> ah, railgun permanently fixed to his torso. Yeah, baby. And there's the awesome, the 920XL engine. Nice. It almost makes me wish I didn't put the uh, ERPPCs on the Battlemaster because I could put them on that. Which I'll probably end up doing, or the Atlas, I mean, sorry. Um, I'll probably end up doing that. Let's have a look at the base here. We're running where our C bills are dropping like friggin' nothing now. Um, like I don't have any XL clan engines right now, so it's not like I can put them in anything. Oh man. Well, five hundred twenty-four thousand to fix it. Man, we're going to have to do some milk runs big time if we're going to get this going. It's a 10-day fix. We're going to be out of sea bills soon. Let's see what the awesome's got on it. This might be a case of, of I don't know, because the the great thing about the the uh, the uh, Mjolnir running the ERPPCs is it's got a bonus to damage for them, right? Awesome's got more armor, but the PPCs are more damage than the Mjolnir. Um, this guy didn't have much left over either. Almost no armor either on this guy. Uh, why it's got so much armor in the legs and not in the torsos, I have no idea. That's 577. Oh, God. I, so much, I really want to do this, but... Like, there's no advanced cockpit or anything for the awesome to support the PPC, so it's like, why? I don't even know. It's weird that it's got a couple of missile hard points too, eh? It's actually not a bad loadout. Eight laser, two missile? Alright, we'll leave it for now.
We'll keep it in the base. Most likely we'll get it outfitted. But we need sea bills. So I'm gonna have to go back and sell a bunch of stuff. We don't think we picked up enough today to even cover one financial report, unless I sell mech parts, which I can probably do, um, and I probably will do, because we're, we're we're coming to the end now. I don't mind selling them off. Uh, we sold off our all our backup mechs, so what we have here is pretty much what we have. So yeah, it is what it is. Will they be able to run this this mad dog? Actually, is there any like lower end contracts here? I never did look. Oh yeah, there's probably a couple here we could take. Ambush a convoy. Another convoy. Recovery missions. Yeah, we could probably do a few of these. I'll just go like max. Well, go max C bill on this one. 1.5 million is pretty good. Uh, or maybe just go one. One of four salvage and like one million C bills or something like that. Just so we know we're going to get some C bills out of this. Yeah, run the second lance. Try the vulture out. See how it works. Uh, I don't think it's going to be any better than the Exterminator. I think the Exterminator is going to be better with all the ATMs on it, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to try to get back into at least daily missions if I can do it this week. Uh, I've got a lot going on at work, so I'll we'll have to see what happens. All right, so until next time, we'll see you all later.